Oh yes. Welcome back to Ed Hunts. Today is the day of the video game retro market and this is the first one that's going to be taking place in Brighton. So just while I'm waiting for my sister to come pick me up, it is currently 6.30 in the morning and we're going to be getting there for about 8 o'clock for setup. We've got quite a few hours to set up so let's have a quick look what we've got here. So I've got a little box of DVDs here, wrestling DVDs, various other loads of Mortal Kombat DVDs in there. We've got some loose SNES games and uh, Famicom cartridges, Master System cartridges and American snares. Got some Boxing 64 down there as well, Box NES. Uh, got some Box Game Boy, Game Gear, some loose NES, uh, Japanese Game Boy down there as well. Got some PS1 titles here. Uh, we've got some more box goodness here, some PS2, PS4, a pocket camera. We've got the blind bags here. These are the Primo ones. I was only able to do eight, so we've um, got a really good chance of getting that Batman Returns on the on the Game Gear. Uh, some loose uh, Game Gear carts up there. There's some Switch games there. These are the 10 and 15 pound blind bags. They're all just here. And then there's a big box of like toys. That's a Game Gear there as well. Yeah, just waiting on uh, my sister now. And yeah, we'll see you on the way to Brighton. So I'm here with Essie now, and uh, we're in Brighton. So we're just coming towards, we're not far away from the race course, about 10 minutes away. The car is fully stepped, we're ready to go. We're in a place called Falma. So we've just arrived at the venue and we've got all the stuff at the car. So all the stuff's on the table now. And yes, yeah, a really nice venue actually. Like it's just in the grandstand of the race course. Uh, let's have a little wander around so you can see so there's going to be some more vendors here. Some of them haven't turned up yet. Got one here as well. And yeah, we've got all the vendors up on the screens as well. I'm there somewhere. Oh, I was there on one of the screens up there. And then we've got some retro game setups here as well. We've got I've got Mars System, oh yeah boy. Sonic, well Sonic's inside but it's not Sonic obviously. Got one just playing cartoons. Is that Thundercats maybe? Yeah, it is Thundercats. And we've got another one on the NES. Might have a little go on that later if we set up. And yeah, got some more over there as well. Got some classic ones, got some N N64, Amiga. Oh, there I am. Hey. <laughs> Have a look around before everything opens up. These guys just opposite me. Pure toy store. It's cool. I think I saw these guys at Sandown, if I remember rightly. He's still setting up. We've got James from One Up Retro Gaming. Yes, brother, how we doing? Man is packing the PlayStation 2 today. Oh my days. This PlayStation in general. Where's your retro? Where's your retro? <laughs> Bits down there, but oh, okay. nothing, nothing. I'll be raiding that later. It's a nice stall as well. Oh, mate. This is one that I need for the for the collection. Bad and red. Yes, yes. Gareth, Home and Away Gaming yes, UK. Yes, How are we nice doing? To see you, nice brother. to see you, mate. Yeah. How are we doing? It's not too bad. How's the setup coming along? Uh, early start. Yep. Got um, some uh, top end stuff up there. Yeah, nice. I had to the Oh, nice. That's sick. Uh, Celeste limited run. Yeah. Uh, Summer Dazzler's uh, limited run uh, yeah. on the Switch. Oh, nice. Who are they? Sea of Sol Solitude, Return of. The Obra Dina. Yeah. What is that? Oh, I don't know. Anti Eternia He Man. That's a savage stall. Look, your mask system here as well. Oh, oh, what's this all this? Street Fighter 2 photo frame. That's <laughs> sick. So here is the stall ready to go. Uh, so at the end here, we've got DVDs. Games, more games, more games. Banjo Kazooie, got some Master System games, some Saturn games. Uh, got some loose games here as well. Uh, that's actually a seal game there. Oh, I need to take one out. Oh, they're all seal games, yeah. Uh, some PS3, some Wii, Wii U, GameCube. 
Uh, got some of Ben's stuff over here, got the his Game, GameCube games, got loads of loose carts in here, you can just have a look through the folder. Got loads of games here, and uh, yeah, all the blind bags, and the blind bag uh, tiers here as well. It is 11 o'clock, so the doors are just about to open, um, and there is a bit of a queue, I've been, I've been told. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, people are now starting to come through, and here we go. First £10 blind bag of the day. What have we got inside? We've got that. Okay, so we've got F1 Grand Prix on the Super Famicom. We've got uh, seven, no, five Pokemon cards because you've got a £10 bag. You've got Movie Studios on the Wii. A copy of Tomb Raider Underworld on the PS3. Call of Duty Infinite War on the PS4. And finally, case 2019 on the PS4. So, that so works. not, yeah, yeah, not awesome. a bad little show. That's all right. Much appreciated. Thanks, man. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe how busy it is. So we're here with Brad, and he bought a blind bag, and he didn't want to open it on camera, and then he opened it, and he came back, and he got Transformers! I know. Well done, it's mate. Congratulations, much, man. Mate. Much appreciated. That's right. And yeah, got all those other games as well, man. So yeah. Lots in, of games in it. And, and Pokemon cards. Oh, so yeah, oh, yeah enjoy. Pokemon the back, yeah. yeah. So we're here with Jake, and he just bought a premium bag. So let's see what he got inside. Got a copy of Big, Big Air, Air on the PS1. PS1. A uh, box copy of Super World Cup Striker on the Super Nintendo and Micro Machines 96 oh, nice, on yeah. the Mega Drive. And there should be some Pokemon cards in there as well. Very one nice. hollow. And you got Lake Akiti as your hollow. There you go. Amazing, thanks very nice much. Nice one. Cheers. Okay, so we're Andy and he's picked up one of each of the bags, which is amazing. So he's started with the Yoshi bag, the premium bag, and he's gonna open up on camera now. So he has got a copy of World Grand Prix on the Master System. Alex Ryder Stormbreaker on the Game Boy Advance. And da, 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 oh, we got the Batman Returns! Nice! Fantastic. That is about a 50 pound game that you got right there. So, yeah. And then you got the Pokemon cards in there too. So, yeah, with the Basque Legion. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice one, man. Here with Jacob. Jacob. So, he bought a Primo blind bag. And let's see what he has in his Bulbasaur bag. There we go. Right, so you've got Alone in the Dark on the PS1. Yeah. Nice copy. Nice. You've got a, a bit of a mashup copy of WWF Attitude <laughs> on the N64. And you've got a copy on the Game Gear of Kickoff. And then you've got 10 Pokemon cards inside as well with one hollow. He's got proper interest. So, yeah, he's got the People's Champ, the Rock t-shirt, loving it. And he's got a 10 pound bag, so you're gonna open it up and we'll see what you got inside. But first we've got Power League on the Super Famicom. Nice. Go on, I'll get stuck in, mate. You've got some Pokemon cards. Oh, you've got, oh, you've got, the, yeah, got it. You got the sealed copy of Marvel Super League Heroes. Well oh, done, nice. mate. Ooh, well done. We TMA that one. Impact. We haven't got that one. Wrestling game as well. Oh my god, mate. I mean, he's absolutely <laughs> loving this. Right there, man. And, oh, and another wrestling game. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Didn't know. Amazing. Uh, uh, Brilliant. Nice Thank one. Right, we're here with Steve and he's got a £15 goodie bag and he's going to bust it open now. So what you got? You've got two Super Famicom games. Uh, one is a baseball game, one is a uh, horse riding game. And we are in a race school, so quite apt. We've got Walk With Me on the DS. Oh, he got it! He got it! He got it! He got it! SpongeBob. SpongeBob sealed on the PS2. Oh, nice. he, got one of, he got one of the special games. Nice. Hey. <laughs> The look said it all, the look said it all. Really, innit? I can't believe how, how busy it's been. Amazing, though. It's fine. So I'm here with Fan and Matt. And they've both bought Primo blind bags. So let's get them open and see what we've got. Get them open. That is an epic beard, dude. Thank you very much. Epic. <laughs> Every epic proportion. <laughs> there we go, the first one out. Mission uh, Command. Mega Drive Arcade Classics. Awesome. Happy days. Yeah, happy days. Happy days. Next. Next, we have Putt and Putter. Putter and Putter for the Game Gear. 
Nice. Is that the one with three or is that one with four? If you haven't got an extra one in there, I'm gonna throw an extra one in. Because I, I was meant to and I forgot. So, there you go. Ah, thank you very much. So there's your fourth. Ah, thank you. Cool, and I was, I was just meant to, I forgot. Okay, so what have you got? What do we get? You have got Tweety's High Flying Adventure on the yeah. Game Boy Color. Nice, nice. You've got Dragon's Fury on the Mega Drive. Which is a very unique pinball game. And then you've got Donald Duck. Donald Duck? Yeah. And you get nice. 10 Pokemon cards in each with one hollow. Yeah. Oh, I have you only get three one. games in that one, but I, I intentionally put three games in there, so I only got four games. Yeah. So yeah, sweet. And back. So, just got back from the video game retro market and wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable turnout. Thank you all so much for making the effort to come down to the Brighton race course and checking out all our wares. I know there was only about 15 or 16 vendors. However, the next, the next few in Camden, the next one in Brighton as well, and the one in Norwich, there's gonna be way more vendors. Hopefully more of you guys will attend as well, but what an absolutely unmitigated success. I just wanna say big up to Ricky for putting on such an amazing show. Honestly, I'm absolutely overwhelmed by all the, everyone who came to the table, bought stuff and said hello and stuff as well. And you know, so many of you guys came up and said good things about the channel and honestly, it's big up all of you, do you know what I mean? It makes me feel, you know, it's just crazy. You know, it's, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling and something that I could have never have dreamed of when I only started this channel like just over three years ago. So thank you all so much for coming down, buying some bits and bobs and yeah, just an amazing day. Um, so there isn't that many pickups, unfortunately. So, cause I, was, I did do a little, a little walk around as you can see, but you know, there just wasn't that much there that I didn't already have. So there was a couple things that I did pick up though. So we'll go through that. And there was a drawing that I got given by one of my viewers' sons and that was Joey. So big up Joey. That's gonna be going on the wall right there. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So let's go through the pickups first. Now there's only two things. But one of the things, if you're watching the channel for a while, you know I'm collecting these. And this is an NES Classics Game Boy Advance game and it's Zevius. 2001年のクリエイターたち歴史を変えるスーパーデビュースこれからはハードケース now this, uh, this is from one of the guys that was stalling opposite me. Some really nice box retro games, some really nice Game Boy, Super Nintendo, etc, etc. And yeah, this is Zevius. This is now, I think, the seventh game in my Game Boy Advance NES Classics collection. And yeah, it's absolutely perfect condition. This one was £25. Uh, I'm looking for them all in like nice condition. And yeah, this couldn't get better. Um, it's, like, it's complete. Just get everything in there. And yeah, really, really nice. Really happy with that. 25 pounds absolute steal uh i can't remember your name but yeah big up yourself really appreciate you uh sorting me out a little deal with this because you had it down for 30 so ooh, try and get this back in there we go and the second game i got was actually off um my buddy's coming away gaming uh jeff and the lips and they sorted me out with this blind box limited run game now this one was 30 uh, i think they went down for 35 40 and the game inside is sea of solitude now i'm not gonna lie i don't know anything about this game um but you know i don't have any limited run games in my collection so this is the first limited run game i've actually been able to add i do have a, a super rare game up there which is smoke and sacrifice which i got from euro a few years ago i believe but yeah sea of solitude my first limited run game to add to the collection so the drawing is from little guy Joey. I really appreciate you coming up to the stall, handing me the picture, and yeah, thank you for putting the time and effort for doing this. And there is a picture of Luigi, and I thought that was really cool. Do you know what I mean? So I'm literally going to put that right there on the wall for future videos. So I don't know if that was in shot or not. If it's not, I'll put it down there. Um, and yeah, this is from Joey. So big up yourself, Joey. I hope you had a good day with your with your dad. And um, yeah, this was good. this one's going to be going up on the wall. And you know, someone who just watched the Super Mario movie and absolutely loved it, this is awesome. So I really, really appreciate it, Joey. Thank you so much. So that's it from the video game retro market. And yeah, what an amazing day. Big up again to Ricky for organizing such an awesome event. The next one will be at the end of May. I think it's May 26th or 28th, I'm gonna put it below anyway. And that's gonna be in Camden. There's gonna be a lot more vendors there than the one in Brighton, I believe. 
minimum 20 to 25 if not more so and it's going to be the same kind of setup so it's going to be video games that you can play there's going to be music playing there's going to be refreshments available so it's going to be a really good day as i said put all the details below if you want to check it out feel free buy a ticket if you don't want to buy a ticket you can buy one on the day as well you can just turn up on the door a lot of people did that so yeah um what a day <laughs> awesome so if you enjoyed that hit that like button consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one